Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon, and welcome back, everybody, to the Crafting Dead. Yes, I said it. it's been a it's been a while since I uploaded the Crafting Dead. However, um, I'm working on doing double uploads. If you guys don't know, I'm planning on doing the Minecraft Let's Play series and a Crafting Dead upload every single day. So what that means is you guys will have a Minecraft Survival Let's Play in the beginning of the afternoon and then towards the end of the night it'll conclude with a crafting dead video and that could be a challenge video it could be anyone that wants to collab with me in the crafting dead it'll be pretty cool I'm gonna be trying to strive for at least four times a week you'll have double uploads and the rest of the two days will be a single upload of a different series so let me know what you guys think about that in the comment sections however thank you guys so much for all the support as well if we could all hit that 100 like goal today that would be absolutely fantastic and actually today we're gonna to go with the shop actually how much money do i have am i allowed to check no i'm not so we're gonna actually go to the uh shop and we're gonna make ourselves like a pretty basic kit as you can see this is going to be on dead island server number one and you can see here they did update some things so they do have some other cool little textures here of some sorts uh so it looks pretty cool now because i have a kit we're gonna go with slash kit assault um mainly because it's gonna help us out because i don't think i have that much money on me right now so we're gonna store this uh stuff in our inventory here gonna organize it as well and i also want to get some gloves and some uh, gloves as well and see how that looks but also an m4a1 is not too bad of a gun so we're just gonna take what we need here um, and our pistol get things organized and just gonna throw out the stuff I don't need at the moment because eventually I'm gonna probably buy some other backup gear that I kind of need uh, But for right now, this looks pretty good Also, let me know what you guys think about the new update and the new clothing kind of retextures I'd kind of be interested to see what you guys think about that uh, Also the weapons we got to add our attachments to this um, I don't think I'm gonna need this so other than that. This is pretty good Let's reload here. Let's get our FNFAL because I know you guys know that I love that gun a lot. So we're going to get our FNFAL. So let's do slash shop. Uh, actually, each chest, I might have an FNFAL maybe around here. Do I not have one? I probably... Oh, surprisingly, I do not. So, um, okay. We're just going to actually save up on some resources here. So that's pretty good. Uh, backpack, what is in here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Actually, some good gear in there. So let's go that the shop. Let's get ourselves some gear. I think we need our FNFAL, of course. The trench gun is always a solid buy. However, you know, sometimes it's not possible. So we're going to get two clips of that gun. We're going to store this in our side pocket over here. Uh, the, what is this, the M1911. So we're going to get this reloaded. We have one more backup clip. Um, and let's do slash shop for some food. Actually, I do have slash feed, but I'm just going to take some backup food just in case and some water, some drinkables. Other than that, I think we're all set to go. And the next few episodes, I will be, uh, you know, asking for some challenges and things of that nature. But let's go do this, guys. Let's go check out Dead Island because this is actually the first time. Oh, my goodness. There's a guy right there. Oh, I almost killed him. Wait, he's bleeding out. I can't tell you. Oh, gosh, there's a zombie right here. Oh, I forgot to get a melee weapon. Oh, there's a lot of people guys around here. Okay, one kill down. A few more to go down there. Actually, there's a lot of action going on right now, so I'm going to have to step back a bit. Uh, make sure I'm doing okay with ammo. I think two people just ran inside here. There they are. Okay, sweet. So we just got a lot of kills. I don't know. I'm just going to be like a bandit today, I guess. I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling that uh, bandit approach today. So we're going to have to get out of here because from what I'm noticing, Dead Island is full of people. And also, I don't know this world or this map too well. So, oh, thank goodness. We got ourselves a melee weapon, some uh, backpack for a flamethrower. There's a dude right there. Oh, my goodness. That's insane. All right, we got wrecked. So it's really difficult to go solo. But uh, let's do slash kit. Uh, let's see, um, Assassino slash shop. I think I could be able to get ourselves a trench gun and an FN FAL. And I think I do have enough money for some good stuff here. Yeah, I definitely have enough. So let's actually get our gear one more time. It is what it is. Um, and then we'll get back out there. Hopefully it'll be pretty good. Right now I don't have a base. So if anyone wants to build a base, maybe I'll team with them. I don't know. We'll see. So we got ourselves our basic gear, a backpack like this. 
And I think all in all, we're ready to get out of here and go see what we can do. Now, this is a lot of gear I just threw on, but we're gonna see how it looks uh, and see if it works for us. Now, I'm gonna probably take it a bit more easy now because that was kind of intense just for a starter off, but we did get a lot of uh, kills. So two kills, I think, or three kills. I'm not sure if that first one was a kill or not, but uh, we're gonna store anything in here for emergencies, like some ammo. Actually, we're gonna take one more emergency clip. Uh, let's reload these bad boys, there we go. And we do need a melee weapon, that's something I forgot to get. Uh, where is our sledgehammer, ba-bam. Okay, sweet, so we have our ammo clips here, a water, food, we kind of have some backup gear there. Oh, last thing I need is a helmet, and we are all set to go. Let's go for camo. I don't know why, I just wanna try it, change it up a bit, and let's do the R spawn and see how this works out for us. All right, last time was kind of intense. So now that we have a trench gun, we could probably, you know, get a bit more luck. But uh, from what I know, wait, is this the military base? Oh, it is wait a minute, guys. If this is the military base, I'm pretty sure AK's base is around here. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, AK's base is like right down there where there's a lot of people. I'm not going down there, no. Uh, if this is the military base, then his place is just around the corner here. And there are people all around here. However, I'm not going to go and attack people. I'm going to try to keep it safe, but there are a lot of people all over the place. It's absolutely insane. This looks like a military type base maybe it's just a community of some sorts but um it's very difficult when there's so many zombies to tell who's uh who's a zombie and who's not a zombie see i can see down there there's a dude i got him a few times just one hit on him which is not enough to take him out but he is where is he Oh, no, don't bleed out. Don't bleed out. Don't do it to me. Okay, he's probably going to come around the corner. Uh, oh, there's a dead body here, which always keeps me wondering where are the other killers. Okay, there are too many zombies around here, guys. We got to we gotta skedaddle. We got to get out of here. This is not where... Oh, I did kill him. Oh, sweet. Did he have anything? Oh, no, no, no. He didn't. Did I actually kill him? No, I didn't. So, hey. What's up, dude? Uh, I don't know if I should kill this dude. Uh... Should I try? I don't know. Screw it. We're just gonna we're gonna let him just chill with us. We're gonna get out of here though. We're we're gonna just gonna get out of here. Uh, what was that? There's a guy in there. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Run! 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 Oh my goodness! What in the world is going on? This is absolutely insane. Dead Island is absolutely insane. Okay, guys. Uh, we're gonna do slash spawn again. This is absolutely insane. I've actually never been on a like Dead Island type thing where there's just so many people. Like, this guy right there, he's fully decked out. He didn't see me, though. All right, sweet. We're going to go with a kit here, slash kit, assassin. And hopefully, you know, no one will kill us right now. Hopefully, we're okay. We're looking good so far. I think this is the only kit we can use, but they actually mixed up the kit assassin. There's some tan military. So there's some basic gear in here. Not too bad, not too shabby. Um, let's just throw on our backpack, and that's pretty much it. I do hear some zombies. All right, I'm going to cool it off. I'm not going to go in the major cities because I don't want to die anymore. I'm not about that right now. That was way too intense for me. Um, so we're going to put our suppressor on. Or no, actually, that takes away some damage. We're just going to keep the basic things here and just walk around and kind of keep safe. If I can find some supplies, I'm more than happy to just relax here, okay? I don't want to I don't want to go into any areas that's just going to be related to just full-on uh, just action and fire. So that's why I think Dead Island would be a safe call to probably team up with some people. Um, so hopefully, you know, we don't have to die again because that was absolutely insane. Okay, there's a few zombies on here. It looks like a very peaceful bridge. You know what? I don't mind a peaceful bridge. These guys are just jumping on some loot here. Um, but I can definitely, you know, dig not having any any people around here. And a frying pan should scare off any any wanderers around here, hopefully. Probably not. Um, but uh, I can actually probably enjoy this bridge more than just being in the cities because it's kind of a bit more peaceful. And plus for me being this only like the second or third time on Dead Island besides live streaming, I kind of really don't know the map. And I, do can, I, I can clearly see that people are not friendly on here. It's just a full out war. So my plan is actually to create a clan. And in that clan, I don't want to be someone that just goes out and kill people all the time because I feel like that just becomes so repetitive that it pretty much takes away from the aspect of surviving and the post-apocalyptic world. Now I get that people have to like 
fight each other in a post-apocalyptic world. But I feel like it only makes sense to kind of trust some people. You know what I mean? You got to have that trust a bit. You got to like kind of, you know, build a bond and, and see how far you guys can travel together and survive, similar to The Walking Dead. So I'm not going to try to be abandoned on Dead Island, even though it's it's really difficult to not be. But I'm going to try to keep my, my dignity and hope... There's a guy right there. See, I can't really... It's so funny how I just said I'm going to try not to be abandoned, but that guy looked like he had some decent gear, and I would need to get some gear, but I, could, I can't really trust anyone. That's the difficult thing. So for today's episode, I'm going to just not trust anyone and see how far I can take it, but however, these guys, I think, were friendly more than anything, because I remember they were saying something in chat. I'm not entirely sure. What's this here? This is a bandana. This is actually pretty new, too, but I don't need that. Um, however, uh, ammo-wise, we're pretty much on the low right now. Um, I see a base down there. Actually, I don't know if that's a base. That is a building, so this looks like a city they oh my goodness we are gonna get out of there there's no way i can make it through there that's probably why these guys were retreating out of there so uh because of me i'm not gonna really uh trust actually we could go around uh, it's probably like a lot of starters new people i don't know we can maybe just give it a shot you know and see how, how if we're lucky enough to get out of here but uh, i'm gonna throw some smoke down here kind of give a little decoy i'm gonna see if i could make it down here and uh, hopefully, you know, hope for the best right now. Of course, there are a lot of zombies here, so maybe I can just blend in. I doubt that I'll be able to blend in, but I'm going to see if I can just get around here and just go inside a building and hold off. The That's a pretty cool-looking modern building right there. That is actually pretty unique. Um, but right now, it's kind of an open area. Dead Island is mostly like a city, so with that being said, it's difficult to kind of stay alive for more than one episode without dying once so um that's something that's going to be a struggle but i'm going to try my best here guys so if i do die a few times like i recently did um i apologize but uh you know i'm trying my best here on dead island but it is pretty cool and i want to get people on here but all i think i don't know if there are people in here i remember last time there were a good amount of people oh my god these steps are so annoying okay i really hope there's no one here hello guys anyone here no okay i like this it's kind of quiet i can i can work with this some noodle i can i can have some noodles now the thing is i don't know if i want to go on the rooftop because i feel like people can see us from the rooftop so if we stay closer is there a guy right there no i'm just really paranoid now i feel like i see people all the time there's so many zombies on dead island it's absolutely insane all right let's keep looking around there could be some good supplies around here i mean from looking around i see some good things definitely don't need a rusty pipe though like i just i, I can do without that however this looks like some uh Looks like a business building of some sort, it's like some offices around here. Maybe we can find some food. I could definitely use some food right now. I mean, I just have noodles, but noodles is not going to last me for so long. Uh, but it is kind of empty, this place. So it looks... Oh, no, there is some stuff. If you keep looking, you might be get, getting some luck around here. Oh, flask. Okay, good. So I can fill that up with water. And that way, I'm kind of okay. That's chalk. I don't know what you can do with chalk. Let me know in the comment sections because I kind of just forgot what chalk is all about and if it actually helps in any way. But uh, looking around. Oh, pickles. Okay. I can definitely eat some pickles here and there. Definitely helpful. Oh, a machete. Oh, is that a person down there? No, let's see zombies. They even like walk like normal people sometimes. All right. So uh, was this an RBI? No, it's just an empty, empty, empty soda can. All right. Maybe we can... Um, just see what we have to store in a backpack. Some food. Um, that's empty ammo. All right. Just looking around. I'm not feeling too comfortable with uh, my ammo here. So I'm going to do slash kit or actually slash um, E chest. And if I'm not mistaken, I might have some guns here with some ammo. Maybe I have no ammo at all. Wow. Actually, no ammo at all. Well, it's not a big deal because we're coming to the end of today's episode. However, I see a dude over there. He looks very friendly. He looks like a fresh spawn, so I'm not going to go for him because I don't want to give away my target. And that's actually something I've just realized on Dead Island from today. Giving away your... You got to make sure if you're going to go for a kill, you're going to go for that kill. Because if you mess up, they know where you are, and it's very difficult to kind of run away if they have ammo. Because they're just going to come after you. Now, is there no way to get up there? How does one... Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's a friendly dude. He's a friendly. Oh, no, you're not friendly. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. What is this guy up to? I thought he was friendly. Oh, wait. Okay, we're good. All right. Sorry, dude, but you... Sa oh, my goodness. All right, we can take some of your goods here. I I'm more than happy to take some of your stuff. I'm just going to take a few things. You don't really have too many good stuff, so I'm going to take away your body, call it a day, and... Uh, okay, we might need to 
get ourselves a little area to hold off for the day and end off today's episode. I'm going to put these pants on. That looks pretty cool. All right, so we're definitely out of ammo now except for this little pistol. So that's not going to do us too good if we have people chasing us down with ammo. And a lot of people here have guns. It's not like a melee weapon type thing anymore. And there's really some OP guns now that were added, like the minigun, and that's just absolutely insane. Oh, this is like a perfect area just to hold off for the end of the episode. We're at the 15-minute mark, so I'm going to end off the episode here. If you guys enjoyed watching today's episode of The Crafting Dead, of course, let me know what you guys think of the double uploads. I'm working my butt off to get double uploads so that you guys are going to have kind of early afternoon of the Let's Play and towards the end, Crafting Dead. And after that, we're going to try some other things like Decimation, Infected RPG, but of course, some brand new series and the Return of Chaos Craft Season 3, which will be pretty hype as well. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes. And uh, other than that, stay tuned for more Crafting Dead. Peace out, guys. My name is Alex, and stay foxy.